In today's video, we are going to talk about five alternatives that work just as good as meditation. And the reason why I want to make this video is because not all of us are actually immediately pros at meditations. I heard so many clients of mine as well as friends that always tell me, Neya, um, why can I not meditate? Why do I fall asleep? How do I get started? Do I actually always have to meditate? Are there any other alternatives to enter your point of stillness? If you are one of these people, this video is for you. So let's get started. Hello, you guys. My name is Neya, and I also have another channel called Neya Visions. And on this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, manifestation, witchcraft, energy, meditation, spirituality, and so much more than just this. And so today, let's start talking about the five alternatives that work that just as good as meditation. What are the principles of meditations? Why do we use meditation, why it is so beneficial, and why what all these things have in common with meditation, what all these five points have in common. So essentially, we can summarize meditation as the act of finding your point of stillness. What does it mean to find your point of stillness? If you have ever watched the cartoon, the animation Soul, you probably know what I'm talking about. In Soul, in that particular movie, and if you didn't watch it, I highly I suggest you to watch so obviously I'm not being sponsored by Disney to say that but there is a scene in the movie that explains the zone space and this space is Basically, when human beings are in their point of stillness in between the two worlds, in between the spare world and the physical world, and that is where they find themselves, their joy, their bliss. But it's also very important not to lose themselves into this zone. Otherwise, according to the, the movie, they get so absorbed by essentially the spirit world, that they can even become lost soul. And that movie is so wonderful, not only explaining the meaning of life purpose in and of itself, and actually that that could be a, the greatest scam of all in a way, and I talked truly really about this in my soul project video, but it just explains the point of stillness, that people do reach through meditation and so much more. So basically, what all these five alternatives have alternatives, sorry my English, have in common with meditation is first presence. The act of meditation is basically forcing you to acknowledge your presence in the physical world and then beyond the physical world. The second point that they have in common is awareness. Meditation kind of forces you to realize that you are aware. You are present and aware and you are beyond, after you find your presence in the physical body and in the mind, you are beyond the body and the mind and through awareness you can objectively see your thoughts into a to a point where they don't necessarily control you that much, but you become the observer. So we do see presence and awareness. And the third point is the focus on the breath that meditation heavily stresses upon because it's by focusing on the breath that you can release your thoughts and also breath being the vital force of your body can make you feel calm and less anxious and allowing you, uh, allowing you to enter this point of stillness uh, more efficiently. I taught Heavenly actually um, Shiprotim, the yoga teacher, my ex-husband talks about uh, the yogic techniques such as pranayam in my seven step vortex program that you find down below that he has curated and created in order to uh, open in all the chakras and teach you guys this breathing techniques. But now let's dive into the five alternatives to meditation, okay? So the first alternative that I have for you that work just as good as meditation, if not one of the most effective, is to quit social media. <laughs> now, obviously, we are on YouTube, and YouTube is considered a social media. However, the way YouTube has evolved during the years, in my opinion, makes it less and less as a social media and much more as educational platform, obviously, depending on what you're watching. And this is and you don't not even have to see the advertisement if you don't want to, and you treat YouTube as Netflix per se, and you just pay for the subscription. In that way, YouTube really 
really does become a little bit like Netflix where you can learn how to paint, you can learn new languages, you can see videos like this. So obviously, yes, there are recommended videos and there are ways in which you can utilize YouTube in a toxic way. But among, let's be honest, all social media, YouTube is the most educational one. Therefore, I think they are going to evolve to a point where YouTube is not even going to be considered a social media anymore, but more as an educational platform. At least that's my hope for YouTube. So leaving YouTube aside, quitting social media such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok can be highly beneficial for your brain, can be highly beneficial and as effective as meditation. If you want a video about me quitting social media and the results that I had, just comment down below. Essentially, what you have to learn about social media is that it's not just about advertisement. Watching advertisement per se about soap or about the next makeup that you want to buy is not really that harmful. The problem is that with social media, you are basically reacting like playing a slot machine in Las Vegas. The issue is you don't constantly bring around 24 seven a slot machine from Las Vegas in your pocket. The constantly uh, withdrawal from dopamine that people see, especially at a young age and the increased level of anxiety due to social media obviously makes it very harmful. Not even mentioning the negative comments, uh, toxic comments, bullism, and all the things that we already know about social media. When you quit social media, you have the time in space to wake up in the morning much more relaxed and your level of anxieties are gonna drop which is exactly sorry about that which is exactly what happens when you meditate you focus more on your breath life becomes yes a little bit slower exactly like when you are meditating on a day-to-day -day basis but even in those point where you might get bored during your life you can get downloads and creative ideas and actually you can become much more efficient since I quit social media I started painting a lot more and I learned how to paint in basically only four months now it's been six months because I quit and then I started again but generally speaking I have learned painting in four months thanks to YouTube so that's why I don't want to put YouTube in that social media toxicity thing because it's just not true in my opinion for what is my experience so you can get downloads you can become more productive and if you are worried about oh my god but I want to get my art out there I want to get my books out there I want to become famous or I am an entertainer whatever it could be therefore you think that social media is the way to have a business I actually have a surprise for you guys the market as it is business and economical and economic wise is so saturated that it doesn't value things that are copies of each other or they're easily findable now obviously it goes without saying that everybody or the large majority of people on this planet are on social media which makes it not very valuable to do because there are too many people on there doing the same thing and even the importance that you as a listener take on um, followers is not what the market actually thinks. The market business-wise does reward people that are doing skills that are very rare. So I highly suggest you if you are underage or perhaps in your college years to actually focus on something that it's not easily foundable outside and without social media, you're gonna able to do this and even arrive to that conclusion. And in general, it just values things that are not easily, easily uh, reproduced and and this is why they have value. So think about it over and over again when you are thinking that your business or your activity cannot thrive if you do not have Instagram or if you do not have the social media. Actually, that can be further from the truth. I have been, I had a job before YouTube that paid me really well and I was a musician for almost 10 years and it kind of paid me good and I didn't need social media. In fact, I didn't really have social media. My manager when I was in the band was actually utilizing social media for me and uh, and I only created it because the band needed a social media but I didn't have mine personally I just didn't care and 
So essentially, if you are going to quit social media and you're not going to meditate, so let's say you quit social media, but you don't meditate 10 minutes in the day, in the morning or whatever, it's actually going to work double as if you keep social media and meditate 10 minutes a day. And the reason that is, is because it's going to improve your sense of presence, your sense of awareness, your sense of focus, lowers your level of anxieties, your breath, you're going to breathe a lot better. You're going to find your authenticity much more because you're not constantly comparing yourself to another person's lives or even unrealistic standards that social media portray is basically the byproduct of quitting social media is exactly the byproduct of meditation if you're gonna add up to that meditation or yoga well you're good to go the second point or alternatives that work just as good as meditation is Petting your animals, taking care of the environment, having moments of presence with your animals. There are scientific research that actually, even through pet therapy, have demonstrated that working with animals, petting even a cat and hearing his purring, or having a dog and the loyalty of a dog can be so beneficial to people who are affected by depression and anxiety. So even if you don't meditate and, but for example, you are quitting social media perhaps, I'm just joking, but you're going to pay more attention to your animals or you're going to volunteer for an animal shelter or you're just going to spend some quality time with your pets that is going to improve your la- your life dramatically because it's going to increase your sense of presence while you're being with your animals and play with your animals or taking care of them it's going to make you breathe better because they are giving you love and so you're opening your heart space you're not that much in your mind and possibly also love spending time with them which reminds me of soul and I'm gonna get to that in a second soul meaning the movie and obviously you are just going to feel good for that moment spending with animals now however this is not a reason to go to a shop or to just uh, randomly adopt an animal because I've said is as good as meditation an animal is a responsibility a pet is a responsibility animals should be guarded we are their guardians they take so much sacrifice time and money so this is a point that is suggested for people who already have the responsibility of an animal to just spend more time with them and to cherish those moments because it works just as good as meditation not even mentioning that animals are the greatest empaths in this world and therefore they can really help you out opening your heart chakra and I talked truly about this in my e-course awakening your psychic ability when I teach you guys how to communicate with animals I have a sneak peek of what I say in this course on this channel in my video pet psychics so this video is for people this point is for people who have already a pet if you do want to adopt a pet please watch some other content and just be sure and responsible before you actually take care of an animal in whatever shape or form the second alternative to uh, that is as good as meditation is very connected to what is explained in the movie so and it is about paint dance listening to music or any other creative activities in the movie so as we can see in that scene where the um the little soul that is, doesn't want to incarnate is explaining to the guy that just died so in the spirit world he's showing how people when they're really happy and they're really immersed in what they love they end up being in the zone and in that particular animation it's so beautiful because in the zone we see so many people we see a shaman we see a guru we see people meditating we see people playing the piano we see people painting because this is what it is you do not necessarily have to sit and pretending that meditation is okay with you if you just don't find yourself comfortable with meditation there are so many other alternatives ways that can put you in this place of stillness for instance for me it's painting I love painting so much I love doing animation painting cartoons sometimes replicate fun art of Disney it's just or drawing felines and tigers and lions I just love it so much that every time that I am drawing 
it just absorbs all my time I basically I am so present my breath works better I am focused my levels of anxiety drop and I am not even thinking I am just so focused and in fact for instance if you think about drawing even Buddhist monk they do draw the mandalas on the floor as an act of devotion and concentration that is the equivalent of meditation for instance they even sweep the floor with just you know with just their hands and I don't know how to say the other item in English but you probably know what I'm talking about and they do this as an act of concentration and every time that they're sweeping the floor they do it with presence that is a practice of meditation dancing can be the same because you're focused on the present moment listening to music as long as you're not visualizing or thinking or you're not too much in your head can be the same better will be to play actually an instrument and I just cannot stress enough the fact that these activities do not have to become your purpose and do not have to become your job right now in this modern day society we do think that everything that we do or everything that we are talented at doing has to become monetized and has to become our purpose and our job and we do feel a failure if we don't get likes or followers or it just doesn't end up being our career because we determine our level of success only if we get recognition for what we do but this is inherently wrong and it just increases levels of anxiety I think I'm really good I'm drawing definitely I'm not Picasso but I think that you know I kind of like my drawing if to be honest but that doesn't mean that I have to become a painter in order to enjoy this activity in fact I want to do a video over here or on my patreon about the importance to have hobbies if you treat these activities as something that you just do for yourself they are just as good as meditation because they do release anxiety they do release pressure and they they put yourself into that point of stillness so get creative and just do it for yourself and possibly if you still have social media don't share it on social media you don't have to just do it for yourself and see how that will make a difference in your life point number four and this is a very common point especially for people that actually do meditation or especially for people who are into witchcraft is grounding and walking down nature I cannot stress this enough you guys said the connection not only with animals but with nature at large especially as a westernized countries is so important for people who live in the city who never go to the park they never have time rather than spending time forcing yourself into meditation or forcing yourself into social media just stop the scroll and just go out and take a walk it will be just as effective as meditation another practice is the practice of grounding therefore walking barefoot on the ground in a forest or in a park obviously if that is allowed in your city um, or for instance even hugging trees just sitting down and taking that deep fresh air working in your garden if you have a garden spending time outside can be as beneficial as meditation because like I said before I know I'm becoming repetitive but it propels lower level of anxieties it makes you present which means that you're not constantly in your mind stressing out about things or at least you should go outside with that intention of not visualizing or stressing out because you know what I think for the majority of people in the spiritual community when they think about meditation they just enter meditation because they want to manifest something and this can be very straining therefore they're constantly visualizing something they're listening to frequency they're they're affirming things but this is not the goal of meditation meditation is not just used for manifestation meditation actually should be used to connect with God connect with spirit and enter your point of stillness that realm in between the human world and the spirit world where you can actually get at those beautiful creative ideas lower your level of anxieties and anxiety and feel better therefore if you're going to do a walk in the park or a walk in the forest or gardening or being around nature intentionally this is going to work 
much more than 10 minutes of meditation. So I highly suggest it to look into how can you be intentional and intentionally work with nature, how you can ground yourself, hugging trees, and all of these activities if you don't feel that meditation is your cup of tea. Meditation meaning in and of itself, sitting down in your room and just trying to, you know, space out in a way. And talking about space out, this is my fifth point and alternative that is just as good as meditation and it is spacing out. This is something that I actually have learned in my childhood and through my father. My father is a person that actually always had to work so much and use his mind a lot due to his job. So when he was at home, he's never been a meditator or anything like that. But I noticed that I was like, what are you doing? Like, are you okay? Because all of a sudden he used to become very quiet and he used to do this when he was actually relaxing, let's say in the terrace or on the couch, not even watching TV or doing anything. Or when he was especially, sorry about that, in vacation. And what I noticed is that he used to reply to me, I'm thinking nothing. That is entering the point of stillness when your mind is empty. And this happens when you space out. I, I space out a lot of the times and when you space out, you're literally in the zone. You are just becoming the observer of your thought. You're not engaged emotionally. If you think about your breath, you are breathing a lot slower. You have a sense of awareness, but you're not thinking about anything in particular. So obviously I do not recommend spacing out 24 seven, exactly like in the movie. So they say you should be, you shouldn't be in the zone 24 seven, unless you are a hermit or, you know, a guru in the Himalayas mountains because you can lose yourself. So obviously meditation can be so beneficial, but it has to be done a couple of times a day or once a day, really, in my humble opinion, especially to work in a, in a society as it is today. But you can have those moments where you're not scrolling social media, you're not watching videos, you're not doing anything, you're not even listening to music, you're, you're not watching TV, you're just spacing out. You're just even sitting on your couch or outside and you're just observing the moment. That's it. You don't have to do anything. The breath is going to come to, to calm down. You are going to have a sense of awareness, a sense of peace, a sense of presence, and you just space out. I love it. I love it. This is one of the reasons why many people smoke marijuana. It's because they space out. But I do not and obviously if it's legal in your country you do you girl or boy but I don't. I'd rather do things naturally and just within the realm of my breath and my body because I personally found that this is more long sustainable. Okay so I'm just saying. Now I actually do have a bonus alternative that is just as good as meditation so if you have been stick around until the end of this video you guys are great. Remember to subscribe to have more videos like this and actually so much more to check also my other videos but most importantly to comment and share your alternatives if you think that there are more than five alternatives or actually six that there are just as good as meditation and share your thoughts on meditation at large how you think it will benefit you or has benefited you or instead if you find some difficulties with the traditional meditation so let's go to my bonus alternative that is just as good as meditation this is physical activity, most likely running or walking. When you are doing some physical activity that you enjoy, in my case, I love running or I even love taking really strong long walks with my dog. I know he's a chihuahua, but he can walk even up to seven kilometers in a row and still run, not even kidding you. So we do that all of this activity a lot and I have noticed, especially when I do not put music in my ears, but I'm just running, I'm just walking, I am just doing yoga. I'm just doing some physical activity. Obviously my sense of presence does increase and the reason that is is because let's say I'm doing yoga and my posture is like this, after a while it's gonna burn and therefore because my body is burning I am putting presence and focus on my arm. This is why yoga can be so powerful and a powerful alternative to meditation because you are obliged to be in the present moment. You are so focused on 
that burning sensation. The same is when you're running, especially if you do it intentionally and not just, you know, flipping out on your thoughts or thinking I have to do this then and then I have to do this tomorrow. That person didn't call me. If you're going to do physical activity intentionally, it you will focus on the breath because you have to breathe and be, pay attention to the breath when you are doing physical activity properly. You have to breathe in and breathe out and breathe from the nose. You are in the present moment because it kind of burns. So you just say, you know, you're focused on your body and you are reaching a point of stillness in this way. And so physical activity can be so good for mental health, for physical health, as well as is as good as meditation. Of course, if it's not overly done. All of these alternative activities, but also I'll say meditation shouldn't be overly done, but we should become balanced beings that are using these tools in order to improve our lives and become more balanced and holy. Okay, you guys, so these are my five or actually six alternatives that are just as good as meditations. Like I said, comment down below and share your thoughts and I see you very soon on this channel with other content.